it's a village that's, that's dying, really. It's just run down, it's just the Bronx. It's more like a prison, everything's boarded up. It's like Beirut, it's absolutely disgraceful. The more people who leave this village, the worse it is for those who stay. This is Horden, County Durham. It was once a thriving mining community. Now, emptied of work and increasingly of the people who gave it life and soul. Wherever you turn in Horden, this is what you see. For every house that's lived in on this street, there are two that are boarded up. It makes for quite an eerie feeling. The locals, those who remain, sense it too. Do you feel like sometimes you're the, the last family standing? Yeah, I do actually, yeah. It's funny you should say that, to be quite frank, yeah. Definitely. Is that a bit strange? It, it is very, very, very strange. Because it it's, it's like, it's like, um, like an old western movie. <laughs> Just waiting for the ball of hair to roll down the street, you know. <laughs> Nobody seems to know what to do with so many empty homes. The bulk are owned by Accent, a housing association. They offered to sell 130 of them to Durham Council. The price, a pound for the whole lot. The council said no. And then you get this. Doesn't look too clever, does it, that? Awful, awful. Foodstuffs, rats, we've had a plague of rats. Yeah. Awful, awful. Conditions like this will hardly stop the rot. Over a hundred more households are soon set to move out. Fingers are being pointed firmly at Accent, the area's biggest landlord. How did you get to this date? I think that the quality of the houses has gone down. Um, the Accent owned houses, the repairs couldn't, they weren't doing their repairs. And I think the people just moved out. And I think it sort of became like an epidemic, because who would want to live in that house with that house and that house blocked up? And it, it's just like a disease that spread down the streets. From the boss of the Housing Association, an alternative theory for this decline. A village that survived the closure of the coal mines, he reckons, may not survive recent welfare reforms. So how, how big a factor is the bedroom tax? Well, it is a factor. It, it, it's the straw that broke the camel's back, if you like. Previously, we had 67% of our two-bedroom properties um, had um, single people in. Um, but the bedroom tax means that that is no longer affordable. I'm being shown one of the few houses in Horden to get a facelift. And as you see, this isn't about the condition of the property. The property's been refurbished to a high quality. And yet still, they say, they can't rent it out. Is there anyone who's shown any interest in living here? At the moment, no. I mean, we're trying to stimulate that demand, um, but unemployed single people who were previously the majority of people who were moving into these properties, uh, as we said previously, due to welfare reforms and unemployment levels, um, uh, no longer uh, can afford to live in these homes because they're on benefits and the benefits don't stretch? Absolutely, benefits won't, won't cover and they, that's just getting worse and worse. Things getting worse is something they're getting used to in Horden. I mean, so these houses here were lovely houses. People wanted these houses. They were lovely and clean. I mean, you can see a house there in the middle of it. It's like Beirut. It's absolutely disgraceful. Isabel has lived here 38 years. She says the village has been abandoned. There was Valerie, there was Nellie Golightly, the Williamses, all, all them, they were all nice people, but they've gone to Pete Lee, they've moved out because they saw what was happening. But who would want to come into Horden? At the state of it, the back lanes, the walls has been kicked down. What's happening here is all the more bizarre because this is a time where there's huge numbers of people desperate for social housing. In this county alone, there's over 11,000 people on a waiting list. And yet here, house after house is empty. This is you. This is it. Very nice. To people like Martin, the system seems bewildering. He was homeless after leaving the army. Now he lives in temporary housing provided by a charity. 
if, if the option was there, would you consider it one of those bigger yeah. houses? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I think, I don't know whether, like with a bedroom tax and stuff like that, so you have to pay extra for more bedrooms and stuff. How tough has it been, I mean, to, to get social housing? It is very frustrating, but it's, um, it's just hard. I mean, you really want it and it just, you don't get any response or you, you just feel as though you're getting nowhere. But even bought for a pound, Durham Council says these houses would be too expensive to repair. They may now be sold on the open market. Residents talk of salvaging what they can, while something resembling a community remains.